Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 76 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I'm currently uh, getting ready to get back to what we were working on at the end of last episode, uh, which was getting my genetics lab up and running in a pretty spiffy and hopefully fully automated and awesome looking way. Uh, so currently, we've got this stuff going on. Cool. Uh, I'd like to automate the squeezer a bit. Um, now, tricky, tricky, tricky bits of work here, but hopefully I can come up with good stuff to do. Um, ultimately, I'm going to eventually get to the point where I have all the good stats that I want, and we're gonna pretty much just wanna get all the species attributes to go on here. Um, however, I don't think I'll be able to, using strictly the squeeze, uh, uh, strictly uh, refined storage, uh, be able to interact with things the way I want them to. But I might be able to do something cool with integrated dynamics to export every um, B sample out of here that is not a species one, I think. I might be able to do that. So we're gonna play with that a little bit today and see what we can come up with. Um, so first, uh, I, I set up some export buses, right? And uh, uh, some exporters, I believe I set up some exporters. Why are you not done crafting yet, buddy? Hey, pal. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? That's what you're doing, you did that. All right. So I'm gonna put you in there, and that should fix that. Happens every now and then. I should probably get away from the whole item duct thing and just have crafters directly on the solders. That would prevent that from happening. Uh, but this is a carryover from a long time ago, pretty much. So we'll just have to deal with it. Cool. So anyway, back to what we were working on. Bing, open the door. Yay. Um, stuff. So we've got lots of B samples, right? Let's get uh, some 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 integrated tunnels and integrated dynamics and all that stuff, uh, and 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 get this thing going. So let's get a chest check. Let's get uh, an interface. Let's get importers and let's get exporters, um, and let's get. Let's get integrated. Let's get an energy battery, check. Let's get a uh, variable store, check. Let's get some logic cables and let's get an item interface and let's get an item exporter. This may be doable because there has been a change or an update to integrated dynamics that makes things a little bit easier than they were in the past. Let's get some variable cards and let's see what we can do. So I want to test this in like a short form. And then if this works, so this is one of those we're testing it live situations. Um, and I'm hoping it works out because it would be really cool if I could get this to work and I'd be really proud of myself. Uh, so you're gonna um, compare MBT, no. Compare damage, no. I want you to ignore metadata and MBT. And basically what I want you to do is keep Hello, what are you doing? Stop, stop that. Okay, cool. Speed fast, speed fast. Okay, cool. What was that all about? Speed fast, speed fast. Why are you blinking? Why are you blinking, blinking? What is that all about? That's a weird thing that's happening right now. Okay. Okay, stop it, not. Okay, I just found some weird bugs. <laughs> that was weird. Not what I expected to see, uh, but I should be able to mess with this a little bit differently. Let's, all right, so by the way, I just found a weird bug uh, that I have to report. Uh, you guys might've noticed what I did. If you did, cool. I'll give you a hint. I have seven of these now. <laughs> uh, that's buggy. Found a bug. Like I said, that's what happens when you do things live. So let's get uh, some power up here. Well, may or may not need power. We'll see. Um, for now, it's just, you probably don't have, oh, you know what? I can get enough power just from holding this thing. 
Do, 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 do. Cool. Let's try this. So we're going to have an interface here and we're going to have a cable and then we're going to have a chest and I'm going to put an item exporter and export items. Do we not have the new version of this that lets me do the thing I wanted to do? All right, so bad news. The, the version of integrated tunnels that I was thinking would give me the ability to do what I want to do, I thought it was out, but it's not out. So uh, that means we can't do what I want to do, uh, the way I want to do it at least. So we will have to figure that out. Uh, so instead, we're going to do something a little different. And I have to lament the fact that I lost a few bee species traits. At the end of the day, I'm not going to worry that much about it. I'll live. Um, so instead, let's change things up a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do in, instead of this, um, probably, so you're all going to things, right? Um, so this machine, I probably don't necessarily want to automate. This one, I probably do. This one, probably don't necessarily want to automate. Uh, and this one, maybe we could export. So really, this is the main one that we want to automate, right? And that's all we need to worry about. So for now, I'm, I'm, I will probably circle back to this at some point. Uh, once that version of Integrated Dynamics comes out, that would be cool. But in the time being, we're going to hold off. So let's run some cabling down here. Bing. Nice and lit. Cool. Actually, I'll probably want to run cabling here. Just to have some better behaved corners. Uh, and I'm going to put all this uh, integrated stuff away. Because like I said, we don't have the version of integrated dynamics yet that I think will allow me to do what I want to do. Um, Crosser, the mod author, like tweeted out, like, this is a thing you're going to be able to do soon. And I, it was a while ago. So I thought, hey, it must be in by now. It's not. My bad. Whoops. Oh, well. So you should import bus on this guy. So that means, um, for example, if I throw Rocky drones in there, uh, you should start doing the thing, right? Um, in fact, what I am going to throw in there is probably some Imperial drones and some cultivated drones. Oh, and I have F3H on, my bad. That's why we were seeing huge amounts of tooltips. Um, so you're a queen and you're a queen, so that's fine. So what I'm probably going to do then is reverse this such that you are set to ignore it and you guys can go into here. Cool. Um, and then what I'll also do, because I don't need this anymore, put these away. That should be cool. And you guys can go into here. Nice. Now I think I can do something pretty spiffy. I think what I can do with refined storage, there's a thing. Filter. Can we try out filters? Have we tried these before? Uh, so I'm going to want 10 of you. I want 10 of you. And let's get 10 of those. Now, if I'm not mistaken, should be able to get a filter. I'm going to not compare damage in MBT. It's a whitelist mode. I'm going to put you in the filter. Now, if I put this filter in here, hey, cool. Look at that. It filters the grid and only shows me this stuff. Sweet. Uh, and by the way, this should totally be doing a thing where it imports. Perfect. Cool. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. So that's pretty spiffy. Um, now, if we wanted to uh, have more grids, which I probably will. So I will probably want two grids. Uh, and I could probably use more constructions and processors. So I'm going to want two of you and two of you. And that should be able to get me three grids in total. Uh, and I'm going to get another filter. Uh, 
And then I should be able to get... And I don't need them to be crafting grids, because I'm not going to be crafting with anything down here, right? Um, so that should be fine. Oh, and probably two of you would also be nice to have. Getting there. Getting there. Come on. Dude, really? Do it. Thank you. Took you long enough. So what I'm going to do here is your grid, right? I want you to be princess and drone. I think these are different item IDs. So like, let's just verify that. So I'm going to, again, ignore damage and MBT. We're going to whitelist. Uh, and if I filter, we should be seeing all princesses and drones. And there's really only one princess in there. Neat. So I'm going to grab out of here all my princesses, uh, which unfortunately they don't stack. So that's going to be a little extra annoying. I'm going to put away a few things that I don't necessarily need at this moment. Like you and you. And you and you. That should be good enough for now. So drones can go into here. And princesses. And go into here. And now this is pretty much our genetics laboratory, right? And it doesn't matter which grid I put them into. The filter is just what's being shown, right? Um, so in theory, I've also got seal upgrades. Is there anything else in here that I really should have? I think all that I'm going to keep down here, the only thing I'm going to keep down here will be, um, yeah, this. So what I'm going to actually do is put this here. Oh, ha. You and you should be cool. Nice, right? So on the left, we've got all our bees and drones and stuff. And on the right, we've got all this stuff. Cool. Meanwhile, I would like an importer. And into forest mode. And let's import bus everything out of here. And run that over to this area, right? So we can get all this stuff that looks nifty. Cool. So now you should be import busing. Oh, hello. Right, yeah, no, that's fine. And I'm pretty almost 100% positive. Nice, so you import bust all that. That looks good, and that looks good. Cool. Uh, now, do we want to set up processing of resources down here? That might not be a bad idea. Because um, now we do have more things in here. We have resources, right? We've got the combs and the royal jellies and all that stuff. So there's two options we can do. We can either process that in here, but this is your next laboratory, not machine processing room, right? So what I should do, um, and you're cool. So you did do the thing with the thing. Nice. Perfect. So I was hoping it wouldn't take the princess and drone before they mated, but because we have the automation upgrade, we don't have to worry about that. Perfect. So the other thing I'll do is um, let's export any and all resources into our main refined storage system. So in order to do that, uh, we're going to want an interface, we're going to want an exporter, and we're going to want probably some speed upgrades. Cool. And let's get these guys going. So in theory, do we have access to our proper refined storage system, the real one? That's over here, right? So if we ran, so like let's put an interface here, right? And what I'm probably going to want to do 
is have an unfiltered grid in the middle. So I kind of like it just having the two. You know what I could do? Is have a filter. Just because it's faster than changing. Um, and we said one of you, one of you, and a drone. And we ignore these guys, but we blacklist the meadow, the, the and the that. And then that shows me everything that's not a drone. So this should technically always be emptied. Um, maybe I'll hide this. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna put you underground. So this will be something that we don't always see. I could either blacklist or I could just show everything, but I think blacklist is probably the way to go so that we see what resources need to be export bust, right? Uh, and we can demonstrate this. So now these guys, if I'm not mistaken, all these combs might be the same. Are these the same item IDs? So this is 460, no, these are different item IDs. So I will have to, so these two are the same because they're from forestry, but this is Benny's comb. Um, so there's combs from Benny's mods that are all the same item ID it looks like. So in theory, if I grabbed one comb type from forestry and one comb type from Benny's, it should export every comb type regardless. So let's test that. We're gonna turn off F3H. We're gonna run an export bus here, which by the way, I want speed upgrades, please. I'm just gonna have like one of these in here just so that it quickly manages. I don't think I need like a huge number of speed upgrades to be honest, but. Um, I'll leave you the way you are. The wiring is a little bit messy one way or another. So in theory, if I put this in here, you should start getting stuff, I think. And you guys shouldn't link up, I don't think. Oh, you totally are. Wait. What? Oh. Oh. I would not expect you guys to do the thing you just did, but that's 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 fair. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do then is have an interface instead. We broke we broke we broke things um, because we had two controllers on the same network. In theory, though I wouldn't consider that the same network because we're export busing into a thing, but that's okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's export bus into a chest. It's weird, right? I wouldn't have considered that a problem. It's kind of ugly, but we're gonna have to do it this way. Um, so let's, you export bus, oh, that's importer, hold on. Exporter. So you're gonna do that, that, that with a speed upgrade and you should quickly be doing that. And then we can you and a servo. <laughs> uh, we'll get a relatively fast one. Halfway decent. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds to craft. Ignore. So then you should start extracting and doing that thing, and you'll be good. Cool? Technically, I could put stack upgrades in there, but to be totally honest, um, don't really need to. Now, if I set this guy to uh, compare damage and MBT no, then now he should start expect, ex extracting dripping combs as well. So now he doesn't care about uh, damage and MBT values, so which means he'll export all combs. So if we pop back over to here, boom, we have nothing in there that's not a drone or uh, an attribute. So that's kind of cool. Nice. Back in a minute. So I think one more thing I'll do, uh, and I might need to, a few more exporters. So let's get uh, at least three more of these bad boys. Cool, that'll work. 
Um, let's set up this squeezer to be here with an exporter. Now I do want to compare MBT and damage. So I want it to be the exact matching item because I want to make sure it puts the right thing in there. Later on, we might do something where we do better with this, right? But let's say, for example, that we had attributes that we definitely don't care about, like speed fast. We've already got a ton of speed fast attributes. We don't care about them anymore because we already have them on a, on a modifier, right? So we should probably, in theory, never need speed fast again. If I put this exporter here, he's going to start exporting speed fast dudes into this thing. Um, and that's cool. And uh, probably going to need power, unfortunately. So uh, I'm not going to have a lot of sides to this block. That should be pretty well cool and stuff. Um, so the sidedness of this block is actually going to be a problem for me. But wow, that was quick. All right, cool. Good to know. But it, uh, it exported all my speed fast, but only speed fast gets exported there, right? So that's kind of going to be a problem and probably should do something about this liquid DNA. So I got basically, I'm going to need nine more attributes. So temperature tolerance, none. If I put that in there, because I definitely don't care about temperature tolerance. So I just need two more. Do cave dwelling true and tolerates rainfalls. There we have a bucket's worth. Cool. Uh, I want a bucket. Nice. Because I need to move you. I just realized I needed more sides to that block than I had thought. I forgot about power. And I also forgot about liquid. Basically, I forgot about everything I need to do with that block. Because I'm a bit of a derp sometimes. Um, where should I put this thing? I could hide it underground. Because it's, you know, not something that needs to be super part of this area and I do need to access many sides of the block because in theory I'm going to need multiple um, block components here um, so that got me by the way liquid DNA which is usable like I said later on to create bees out of nothing um, literally you combine like some liquid DNA some protein and a fully uh, all 13 chromosomes genetic template and you get a bee it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually really cool. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll consider trying that out. But for now, where do I want this forestry machine? I really do need to access many of the sides. So I might throw him um, down here, like hidden away where nobody will see him. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put uh, exporters on either side. I'm not sure that I love this location either, to be honest with you. What if I put him here? And this could be the exporter. And this could be the exporter. And I might want an importer on this side. And we can import the liquids into the refined storage system. So if I was going to do that, whoops. What I'd probably do is get two 64K storage blocks. Cool. One, two. And what I'll do is stick them here and here. And your job will be to compare MBT, yes. Compare damage, sure. Mode whitelist, liquid DNA. And your job will be blacklist liquid DNA. So in theory, that'll be protein once we get to the point where protein's a thing. Uh, and then we're probably going to want another grid, which will be fun to make. And we want it to be a liquid grid. Cool. And machine casing go and a liquid grid okay cool so we need a bucket and an advanced processor advanced processor and a bucket 
Do, 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 do. Nice. Fluid grid. Cool. And this might also be cool to have underground. I don't know if I'm going to need direct access to the fluid grid ever, but um, we'll stick it here for now and we'll see what happens, right? So if I put that in there and now we have one bucket's worth in here because this guy's white listing liquid DNA and this guy's black listing liquid DNA. So he'll get protein uh, when the time comes. Lighten up the underground a little bit. Cool. I like it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right. So you're going to go and export uh, temperature tolerance and speed fast, right? Uh, and you're also going to import fluids. I wouldn't mind you doing something with the blank gene samples. Do blank gene samples show up in here? They do not. I'm going to have to do something about that. Cool. So you both exported into there. Do you destroy the blank genes or did you import or no, you probably imported items. So the blank gene samples went in there. Now we're importing fluids and now we've got 1.1 buckets. Perfect. Cool. So I might need to um, add to this whitelist blank gene samples so that we can also see blank gene samples in here. Cool. Perfect. All right. So now that we've got that up and running, I wouldn't mind. We'll put an importer. Do I still have one of those in my inventory? I do. Getting back there might be harder than it looks. We will importer in item mode so that you get the empty gene samples out of there, right? Um, so let's get you, Mr. Grid. I should add that to the blacklist too, if I'm being consistent. But what else do we have a lot of? Territory average. That sounds like a terrible attribute that nobody wants. Boring. So then we add cables, wherever I have some. Oop, wrong one. Well, I guess that works too. And that should import the blank gene samples back into here. Cool. So um, territory average is terrible and we don't want it. Uh, what else do we not care about? Uh, so let's maybe clean up our inventory a little bit. You. I don't need a chest. I don't need speed upgrades. I don't need you. I don't need interfaces anymore. And I don't need you. Cool. Uh, so flowering slowest, I don't care about. Effect none. I don't think I put the effect none guy on here, did I? Yeah, this isn't changing effect, but I do want it to because eventually we're gonna have bees that do terrible things to us. So let's go ahead and add that. Um, and then now that we've gotten it, effect none can go on the list. Cool, cool. All right, so flowering slowest, fertility two. I don't know if I need that. We already have that. Cave dwelling, tolerates rain. Species I'm gonna keep, never sleeps true. So let's put all these guys into the export bus. And now we're cleaning up, right? Species cultivated, flowers, flowers. Did I put flowers, flowers on this guy? I didn't change the flowering attribute, but let's do that as well. So I want flowers, flowers, so that if we have a bee that needs something else, now he needs flowers, right? Flowering is missing, but flowers is there. Flowering is like the rate at which it makes more flowers nearby. So species effect beautific, I wouldn't mind hanging on to that one. Uh, tolerates rain, true, we don't need any more. Lifespan shortest, humidity tolerance, flowers, flowers. So let's export all these guys. Now this one's full, that's why I knew I needed a second exporter. Cool, so species effect beautific, temperature tolerance, species, species, never sleeps, false. Cave dwelling, false. So now what we should wind up is only keeping species um, and any other B types that we want to keep. Does that sound cool? So we've got Imperial, we've got Rocky, and we've got Cultivated. Sweet. All right. I think we are doing quite nicely with our genetic automation. All right. One more little tweak. I'm going to put a signalum plated item duct here. Uh, I'm going to get an interface here cool we're going to have a servo here set to ignore and we're going to take 
these blank gene samples that we're getting lots and lots of. And they're going to go and do that. So then you should start putting blank gene samples. Hey, wow, that was cool. Hey, what are you doing? What? Why are you running? What did you just do? That was weird, right? Is that weird or was that, or is that weird? Okay, I don't know what you just did, but you did something odd. It's almost like without an interface export here, you were exporting items into that thing because it already grabbed all the gene samples too. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't mind having you keep labware in stock, but you're not gonna have access to labware. But that's okay, we'll just do, we'll do that a little bit manually for now. And if it gets to the point where we're annoyed that we're doing it manually all the time, I'll automate it somehow. I'm sure I've got an extra empty labware spot somewhere. Cool, all right, good deal. Uh, so I think that makes a perfect time to wrap up the episode. So Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We are doing awesome with bees and uh, they're coming along nicely. So like I said, we won't be doing too much by way of um, the, the, the species manipulation stuff anymore. The next episode will probably come back and start actually working towards gas bees. For now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You know what to do. Take it easy.